So I thought I'd show you what I love about Divi. I've been using it for quite a long time now. Not quite sure how long I've been using it for, but it's been a while. All my sites are using it and they all look different. I just wanted to show you a few cool things that you could do when you want to create a new page. So let's say I want to add, right now I'm in the Divi Builder. This is the wireframe view. I'll just show you what this looks like. So this would be what this one looks like. I've got a video here. Um, this offer's ended right now, but uh, if you look back here, it's got the video here, the button, and the text, see? So it pulls it up like that. The cool thing about it, though, is you can drag and drop things. Let's say I wanted Craig's thing to be down here in Ashley's up there I can just drag them around and move things around that easily and just save it which is kind of nice if you're doing a bunch of different changes so you can just drag stuff around the other thing is you can actually use the visual builder which I don't use it so much I tend to use the wireframe more because I like this way but you can actually use the visual builder So I could use the visual builder here and I could change these words to whatever I wanted, right? <laughs> I could also put backgrounds in here, which is kind of cool. Watch this. Um, let's say I wanted this thing to stand out more. So what I could do is go into settings and maybe put a background in it, a purple background. Maybe I want the text to be white instead. Okay, now if I go back here, I need some spacing here. So you can actually drag it around so that you can give the cell some spacing. Whoops, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. So I could give the cell spacing like that. But there's so many things you can do with just dragging and dropping. Like I could drag this button over to here, put it there, however I want to do things. Yeah, the drag drop feature is really cool. You know, you can drag stuff and put it wherever you want to put it. Change things around. Okay, so that tells, shows you a little bit of how to work with the page. But if you wanted to add a new page, you, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I'm going to discard all those changes. Divi supplies you with a ton of templates. You can build from scratch. You can choose a pre-made template. Or you can clone an existing page, which is really cool. But let me show you just the layouts they have that are available. And you can actually look at the layout. Let's pull one up. And you can see the different pages for it. You can actually view a live demo of the layout. Or you can just use whatever page you want. Sometimes I'll just, oh, I like that layout. And I'll use that and change the colors or whatever. But uh, let's just choose a layout here. And there you go. An instant page done. Then you can just put in whatever you want for your content. But really easy to use. I love the drag and drop. Another way you can add a page, which is really helpful when you're doing a bunch of pages over and over again, maybe in e-commerce or something, you've got a setup all done, you can clone an existing page. So you just find the page that you want to clone and choose that. So there's like 34 pages. You can also choose like body layouts. You can save layouts. But I like the wireframe mode because you can add things. You just type in, um, they have all kinds of cool things for modules from buttons to counters to dividers, galleries, all kinds of little things. Testimonial, if you want to put a testimonial in 
or toggle buttons, all kinds of stuff. You can also add stuff from a library. So let's say I saved a green button that I really liked. I can put that in there and have it use it over and over again. See this button right here. Now what I could also do with that button is I click on the little three things. I could save to library and I could make this a global item. So green button, make it a global item. I can put it in whatever category I want, buttons or something. And now if I had a new page and added that button, or even if I just added another button in here, let's add that button from my library. There it is, it's global. It'll be the same button no matter what page I'm using it on. So I love the global aspect because you can do a whole section and make it global if you had something that's going to be on every single page. So now if I go in and change this button, it'll change this button at the same time on any of the pages. So I like the global aspect. A couple other features I like is Divi makes it simple to put stuff into the header or into the footer or whatever. If you have to put code into stuff, they make it really simple. Like add code to the head of your blog. So you just put it right in here. Really simple. Or to the body or whatever. Divi has a custom built-in SEO so that you can have your titles and different things for your blog posts and stuff. And they do it for individual pages. So you can set it up however you like is cool. There's also the theme customizer where you can go in and actually customize your theme and you can change the general settings, the backgrounds, topography, all kinds of goodies. Um, if you want your footer menus, widgets, all different kinds of things. Uh, even checks out your mobile styles. So what it's going to look like on the phone and you can change things. Or on the tablet, you can see it right there. It's really mobile. So that's nice to be able to check that kind of stuff out on your theme to make sure it looks good. It also has a role editor. So if you have a team, you can put people in here and limit their use of what they can do with the different, like your SEO manager maybe can't change the theme, but he can do other things like split testing. Oh, I didn't even talk about split testing. They have a split testing system, which is really super cool. Let me see if I can show you that. And let's do a split test here. We're just going to change the headline to something. Okay, the goal will be to, we have to choose a goal. Click on this button. Okay, that will be the goal. So this one will be attention virtual assistants. This one will be attention freelancers. See which one converts better. Okay, so now I set up my split testing and typically you could just look at it here, but I don't have anything happening yet but it would tell you which one was winning and different things like that. So the split testing is really cool. Another thing just on the fly here is you can also see here your desktop view by clicking this. Or you can look at mobile and phone. So you can kind of see what it looks like that way too. But I really like Divi. Hope this encourages you to try it out. Uh, especially the split testing is really awesome. And it's easy to work with if you don't know HTML. If you do know HTML, even more fun. Okay, so I really encourage you to go check out Divi if you're looking for an awesome theme. I love it. Their customer support is really great and you won't be disappointed. Go check out Divi.